Let's talk about the setup and where to place your hands on the bar. Most bars have these ridges on them. They're really good to help make sure that you're even on both sides. I place my thumb on the outside ridge and then I wrap my thumb. But sometimes with my wrist, I feel better if I don't wrap my thumb. It just depends on your wrist flexibility and strength. You can see wrist straps also help with that. Now, when you're taking the bar off of the rack, most bench presses have two little hooks. You can either have it higher or lower depending on your arm length. This one, I took it off of the top rack because the lower one is just a little awkward. Now, what you do wanna look at in this video here is that when you're taking it off the rack that you do not have to raise your shoulder blades off the bench to do so. You could really hurt your upper back by trying to lift or in a sense shrug the bar off of the rack. Now this is a pause barbell bench press. So what we're gonna do is have our elbows out at about a 45 degree angle, go down and pause just about three inches off of our chest and then push the barbell back up. Your program will tell you how long to pause for and how many reps to do. So go ahead and follow accordingly, but you can pause anywhere from one to four seconds. 